Hello, everyone. My name is Judy Browse. I'm the Executive Director of the North American Association for Environmental Education, and I am so excited to congratulate Drew Lanham on winning this prestigious award and recognizing his outstanding contributions to conservation and education and to making the world a brighter, a kinder, and a more equitable planet for everyone. He has done so much in his personal and professional work to ensure that future generations have the opportunities to enjoy and love nature, regardless of the color of their skin or their backgrounds. And he pushes all of us to learn and care and do more. He is so creative in his writing and his poetry and his photography, and he puts his whole heart and soul into every single thing that he does. I first met Drew when I was lucky enough to run the Together Green program, which was recognizing outstanding leaders and from across the country. And Drew was in the first fellowship class way back then, and he stood out as a quiet, a forceful, and a dynamic leader for all the other fellows in the class. He was a mentor to all of them. And Drew has been such a wonderful friend of the environmental education community and has been a keynote speaker at many of our conferences, including a few weeks ago, we had our first big virtual conference and Drew was on the opening plenary and it was absolutely amazing. We had more than 2000 people there. And he was on a panel with Amy Nizuka Matato and Audrey Peterman talking about race, nature and education. And the conversation was so wonderful. Here's just a sample of some of the chats that came in, why they were talking, best conversation ever. And it just really blew people away. So he's wonderful. And people were really truly moved by the discussion and it could have gone on for hours. He would talk about, we all have a bird story and how important it is to listen to other people's stories so they can feel some ownership. And he said, birds can show us the way and he does love birds. Um, Drew always is helping others appreciate nature. He takes people on bird walks and nature walks to experience the joy he feels, whether he's watching a hummingbird or a hawk or a deer or whatever he sees, he loves nature. He also inspires all of us to do more and to be braver in what we're doing and to break down the systemic racism that has been a part of our country since the beginning. He is such a talented and amazing writer, poet, speaker, influencer. We all love his posts. We look for them. He inspires us and he makes us think. And he also is someone who is really helping all of us fight for justice, for equity, for more diversity and inclusion in everything we do. I really cannot say enough good things about Drew. He is a very, very special person to me and to so many others. And I am so honored to call him a friend. Drew, I love you. Congratulations on this award. No one deserves it more than you. And as you know, I'm your biggest fan. Thank you so much for all you do for this world. Hi, I'm Drew Lanham, the winner of the William C. Everhart Award through the Parks Institute. And um, I must say I am honored, I am flattered to uh, be recognized for, for the work that I've done um, trying to color this conservation conversation. It's, it's especially rewarding when your own, when your peers at your home institution recognize you for such things. So it's about interpretation. Um, it's about seeing the world through other prisms. It's about trying to make nature um, a priority um, for not just for some, but for all of us. So I am super thrilled to um, to be this year's recipient. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a great honor for me. And I hope to get outside of my uh, thicket here into the uh, into the outdoors sooner than later. I hope you are too. Again, thank you to everyone for selecting me for this prestigious award, the Everhart Award. I am um, I'm humbled. Thank you.